The takeaways from this webinar by the time we're finished is that you'll be able to understand how a repair order gets from your point of sale and ends up in the technician and workflow views. And more importantly, how to use each of these two important views to solve problems and help your workflow through the shop. We also want to make sure that you know how to perform an inspection. And in fact, during this training, we'll be creating a mock inspection. We want to make sure you know the conversation to have with your employees in the shop to get them to work together as a team. And a teamwork is going to get authorization from the customer by way of education. You're going to provide great content to them. You're going to let the customer digest it and then be ready to make approvals. And we're going to educate that customer doing the same thing that we've done in the shop for years, and that is using show and tell. So unlike in the past, when we could get a customer out in the bay next to the car with the service advisor and the technician, what we're going to be working on is recreating the same experience of show and tell with the customer not at the shop. We're also going to make sure that not only do we control the content of the information so the customer doesn't have to go anywhere else to get information, we're going to make sure that we get it to them at the appropriate time in our workflow process, and we're going to do that by text or emailing the inspections to them. We also want to make sure before we finish this training today that you know how to effectively communicate internally in the shop in a way that is documented with date and time stamps on it for when the occasional times when things go wrong, we can go back and track and find out how to fix it. All these things are important, but we want to, you to be able to easily track your performance and see the benefits of the digital shop. And you'll be using a tool that we call the Business Control Panel that I'll introduce you at the end of the training so that you can get with your product advisor. So to start out, I want to make sure that we have a vehicle ready that we're going to be used. So please create this repair order in your point of sale. We'll be using the customer name Blue Steel. Use your own cell phone number if you're set up for text messaging. You'll actually be able to see that text come back to you and show you how an inspection is done. And we'll demonstrate for that for you today. Please use the VIN number provided. It will create a 2012 Mini Cooper. And then we're going to need to create a labor line of some sort. We recommend creating a labor line that's an inspection. You don't need a tech assignment. We'll be doing that by dispatching it from the technician view. So make sure that it is not an estimate and that it's not an appointment. We need to make sure that this is a work order and a work in progress type status in your point of sale system. Once you create a work order, it will populate into auto vitals. And this is the test we will use today to move through the different workflow steps and th see things like how they would if you were actually doing a live repair order in your shop. So I'm going to take a pause here and let you create this vehicle. 